Caleb Plant gets the job done. Caleb Plant far against what's his name? Frigga Butts. That's a weird ass name. Frigga Frigga Butts. He fought against Frigga Butts. Whatever that guy's name is, we don't really give him. But he fought against him and he went about it the right way. You know, we've seen time after time after time after time uh, when people have fought at home and especially have fought at home for the first time. And for whatever reason, they kind of just completely change up how they fight. You know what I mean? They push the action a little bit too much. They press everything too much, try to force things to happen instead of letting things happen naturally like they've done their entire careers. And in doing so, you know, some people have had, we've seen them have bad performances. Um, some have taken losses at home and others have won, but just didn't look good. You know what I mean? Or didn't look as spectacular as, you know, we're used to seeing them. And um, I don't know. It's just I always kind of say that. People always say that, you know, oh, you know, play, fighting at home is an advantage. I always say, no, it's not. I, I don't, if you're not used to fighting at home, you're not somebody who's been fighting home on a consistent basis, man, keep your ass away from home, especially if it's a big fight. Keep your ass away from home. Your first home fight, you should fight an Uber bum, a super, like, literally on the day of the fight, drive around, find someone, weigh them. If long as they hit the weight, cool. <clears throat> weigh them, and the next day, fight. You know, it's just some people don't know how to handle it, handle the pressure of actually fighting at home. <clears throat> and Caleb Plant did what he needed to do, which was he understood that the guy in front of him, you know, he might not be a known name, but the dude does have power and the dude has put people out. And if he catches you right, especially early, he's going to put you to sleep. And he understood that you get caught with the wrong punch. All of a sudden, now you're in a fight or you're in a war, you know, so. He understood that. So he was very, very smart. And he was very, very intelligent with how he handled things. He stayed relaxed. He stayed calm. He implemented the game plan. You know, hitting him up top. Hitting him to the body. Hitting him up top. Hitting him to the body. Good movement. Not taking a lot of punishment himself. You know, the guy had a high guard. Real tight defense. You know, it was really, really hard to actually get, you know, to get to that guy, especially to his face. <clears throat> but Caleb didn't push the issue. He just was chill, you know, and over a period of time, you know, by, you know, him being calm and relaxed the way he was and implementing his game plan, he softened the guy up. Defense started to soften up a little bit. Arms started to get a little bit more tired. So when you, boom, you caught him with shots, it's hard to get through. And he just started, you know, slicing him up. Later on in the fight, then he felt that, okay, you know, I could push the issue a little bit more. But he still did it smart. He kind of came into the guy um, real close to the point where a lot of people used to just smother themselves with the space that, you know, by where, with where Caleb, Caleb Plant was. was Because he was right up in his chest. But he's one of the few fighters who's able to fight from that distance. He knows how to, you know, shift his body, you know, and, 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 and give himself openings where he could hit, some, hit him with a hook. To the face where you can hit him with an uppercut you know hit him with a check right hook he, he knows how to you know how to how to create those openings a lot of people don't know how don't know how to do that they get too close and all of a sudden they can't do itch when they're that tight you know they just complete just complete just smother their work you know that's why you know you have to look at you know people trashing floyd floyd is the best at that it doesn't matter whether it's long distance where mid-range is going to destroy you you know, long distance is going to bust you up, but he can be right up on you. And he can, you know, shoot, block, block, boom, block, block, boom, block, block, boom, block, block, boom. All of a sudden, now you're backing up. He's against the ropes, but now you're backing up because you just got hit with three, four clean shots. And that's what Caleb Plant was basically doing. Just, just you know, making the openings, boom, catching him, catching him, catching him. And he got, you know, he put the man into a position where, you know, his corner didn't want to throw in the towel, but... The ref himself got to the point where he had seen enough and he stopped the fight. You know, so hats off to him. Um, great performance. And, you know, hope we'll see what happens next. They talked about him fighting. Uh, maybe he called out the likes of Benavides. You know, said he fight the likes of Canelo. You know, Smith, he'll fight all of them. But the reality is, Eddie Hearn's not going to let half him fight either Smith or Saunders. 
those fights aren't going to happen. Now, of course, no one's going to cry about that, though. No one's going to say, hey, they need to go fight Caleb Plant. You know, they need to go to PBC and fight Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant is doing a million plus views on Fox on a regular basis. He's starting to fill up those arenas more and more. He's starting to headline more and more. He's starting to become a bigger name more and more. To the point now where now the likes of Canelo's are even now mentioning his name. And it was also kind of funny to me how supposedly supposedly PBC doesn't know how to promote fighters. Supposedly PBC is trash. Yet everybody, when they you know connect the fighters with someone, it's always the PBC fighters. And now Caleb Plant is just now starting to become another name in a long list of fighters who that's the case. You know, you expect the, oh, I offered Caleb Plant three times more than he's ever made. You know, three times, four times more than he's ever made. Expect that to be happening soon as this guy keeps progressing with his career. He's focused. He's serious. This is a man who lost his daughter. This is a man who lost his mother. This is a man who's gone through some ish in life. He's gone through some real ish in life, and he's not playing around. You know, a lot of times, even though people have gone through trials and tribulations, they get to a certain point. You know, they're still trying to drink their sorrows away. They're trying to, you know, you know, medicate their sorrows away. You know, and they still end up falling at the end of the day. Um, Caleb Plant doesn't seem to be one of those types of people. He just seems to be all about that. Yo, I'm dedicating this to my family. I'm dedicating this to my daughter. And he sees him failing. Probably, you know, him failing is the same him as failing his daughter. So I don't see him as a guy who's going to end up being on drugs and, you know, all that other idiotic stuff. You know, focus. Got a gorgeous wife who's, you know, she grinds. She makes her own money. You know what I mean? She grinds and she's about also, you know, pushing herself and being successful. So those two together, you know, as long as they keep that same mindset, sky's the limit. Um, Canelo fight, don't see that happening whatsoever, especially after that performance. The guy is big. He's strong. Um, great movement. Things Canelo he hates movement. He hates people that have movement. You know, he doesn't, Canelo doesn't like fighting black fighters anyway, so he's not going to fight Caleb. And, um, that boy's a beast. He's a beast, and um, he's just doing his thing, and hopefully he stays this person that he is. You know what I'm saying? We always hate it when, you know, fighters seem to be a certain way, and then they switch up and they change later on. It's like, but he doesn't seem to be one of those. You know what I mean? And that's why we ride with Wilder so hard. You know what I'm saying? Oh, y'all so Wilder family. Yeah, you can call us that. Whatever you want to call it, but we ride with him, for real, because he stays, he stays true to who he is. It doesn't matter how much money he's gotten, how much fame he's gotten, he hasn't changed. He hasn't changed. You know, so that's what it is. But we'll see what the future holds on for this guy, man. Um, headlining shows, doing his thing on Fox, IBF champion, undefeated. On to the next chapter. Like, subscribe, share. I'm out.